Have you ever imagined what life will look like 35 years into the future? Well, it's a question the Health and Education Cluster of the Greater Bunbury Growth Plan have been considering. They imagined a world where the digital age has come, has impacted the way our entire society does business, particularly in education and health. But we had to paint that picture of what it would look like when a lot of those services can be provided in the virtual environment. The group imagined changes to retail shopping, to primary health care, and also how schools and universities engaged with their students. Online activity, new developments in technologies such as public Wi-Fi and digital medical trackers, similar to a Fitbit, would all have an impact on how these services are provided. Universities are not building lecture theatres anymore because students don't turn up for the lecture. They know that they can get it online. In the medical area, health needs will also change due to an ageing population. Currently, Australia has about 13% of population is over the age of 65 years. It is going to double, I would say, 25% by 2042. That will change the needs of health in the region as well. Hypertension, diabetes, heart disease, and some types of cancers are related to our sedentary lifestyles and eating habits. So these will be the problems of the future. The group considered there would need to be a fundamental change in the way our future cities would be designed. The idea of being a healthy city was one that incorporated in its DNA opportunities for people to live more active and healthy lives. With cycling and walking connections and sort of active recreational areas and places. The group believed that urban planners, to be truly successful into the future, need to include in their design both opportunities for physical recreation and a transport system that encourages physical activity. Those city centres could be more about inclusion and meeting places rather than places of commerce and trade. There will still be a place for education centres. They will just be different. However, critical thinking, um, applied um, theory to practice, authenticating knowledge, that's, that's what universities have to offer. There will still be a need for primary medical care and new cities and town centres will need to bridge the gap between the generations in a way that is inclusive and delivers a sense of connection and well-being. It's quite the challenge for our government and community. The guiding principle should be a healthy city, a healthy community.